Hello everybody, MagusX here, the Volatile Gamer. Welcome to the second installment of Let's Install TechIt Plugins. Also note though, this works for buckets, so stay tuned. Now today we're going to talk about permissions and how to set up a very basic permissions file. So you could use them or use that for other plugins. So first thing you're going to want to know is how come a lot of the tutorials online don't bother using the permissions.yml and the reason why that is is you can do everything you need to do that I'm going to show you here today with it but then you will the only downfall is you don't actually have a plugin for it to be functional in game in other words you won't be able to edit your permissions right from out of the game you'll have to always come back and restart server perhaps and, and that's just a pain in the arse so what we're going to do is we're going to get a plugin that will do the permissions for us and give us much better functionality and much better control over our permissions. So the plugin we're going to use is Permissions X. All right, so go ahead and download that. Uh, I'm going to throw this link in the description. It's the stable version as you see here. Okay. And uh, another thing, before you navigate away from this page, be sure to open up the wiki, and you're going to want to grab a few things. We have the commands chat manager and modify world those three pages are pretty important they contain nodes that we will need for later so if you want to save yourself some time and griefing of looking around for all these important nodes just do this now alright so go ahead and get that installed and join me back in a second once you're good alright so I got that installed you'll notice that there was three dot jar files that you had to put into your actual uh, you know plugins folder and once you do that load up your actual server and keep it open and then once you do that there's gonna be three new folders and that's chat manager modify world and permissions X uh, all of these are different plugins but they're all pretty much tied into actual permissions so go into your permissions X folder and now before we even get started I'm gonna highly recommend that you go and download notepad plus plus if you don't already have it I'm gonna throw a link in the description for you very important it's so much better when it comes to coding and especially in the YML language okay so go get that and then we're gonna edit it up and here we go you're gonna notice there's already a little bit of coding so I'm gonna cover what's already there the first line here is groups and what groups is is basically a setting um, for the people that are joining it's gonna tell them what permissions they have so if someone joins a the server they're gonna be set to a default group with certain permissions and you'll be able to change those groups for each user as needed you could use different groups to have different security settings for your actual server or maybe you just want a basic group set up so you could actually Actually use plugins that require these permissions all right so let's get started here uh, so that's what the first line is that's telling the actual uh, code that I'm gonna start editing the groups the second line is the name of the actual group that we started so by default is called default and I don't really like that name so you could change it you could just highlight it like I did I'm gonna call it new member okay now the second line or third line sorry is default true and what that means is that's the group that by default new people that join the server will be set to so keep that the same and then right here we have permissions and that's where, when we're gonna actually start editing the permissions now this is modify world as you can see here this is how it's set up and uh, by default I don't think you're gonna have this minus here okay but that's what's there by default and what modify world is is pretty much exactly what it sounds like I'm giving the new people that join rather the ability to modify or edit blocks take away give all all sorts of different things. Now, if you want to get more in-depth analysis of every little permission that's part of this plugin, you'll have to go to the wiki page that I showed you earlier for Modify World. There's tons of stuff. Very, very cool. Check it out. I might cover a little bit more in detail in another episode. All right. So just to kind of explain the code a bit, the first part of the code before the period is the actual plugin that you're referencing. Okay. So if you, let's say you have a plugin called Experience Mod, it would probably be Experience Mod dot something. Okay. And now make sure that you check with the actual plugin page to see what the nodes are named so you use it properly. Now the second part of the code here, here you see a star and what that means is every single permission of that uh, plugin is going to be here. So let's say you have uh, experience mod and you only want to give someone the ability to, to get experience while crafting, then you would add crafting or whatever here. and. Uh, you know, and you could add individual parts of the plugin in one shot. But here, what we want to do, just to start off, is put a star, and then right at the beginning here, put a minus. Okay, save that. So I press. Oh, sorry. Save that. And uh, what you're going to do is go to your launch and type in pex 
reload. That's P-E-X space reload. Okay. So that's going to get us started. Now, what this is doing here is when a new person joins the server, I'm not actually giving them the, the permission to edit anything. It's really a security precaution. You don't have to do it this way. Uh, if you want, if you simply just want uh, to have a normal login and then an admin login, you can just get rid of this minus. Now, I'm also going to add this here. So if you want to have this extra security precaution, this is what you're going to do. I'm going to show you how to edit it in the launch.bat because if you're new to coding, it could be kind of tricky and there's certain tricks like, there's certain like, not so much tricks, but problems with this coding. Like if you have a tab and instead of spacing stuff out, if you use a tab, it, it'll actually crash the code. So you don't want to do that. So this is how you actually add stuff using the launch. It's PEX for packs and then I'm going to tell it I want to edit a group okay and the group is new member that's the name of the group and then I'm going to add an actual permission and what I'm adding here is modify world dot chat because if you don't do that uh, if you want to have the security precaution and you don't do that they won't be able to actually talk so you don't see it on the right side yet but if you click back on your notepad this pops up press yes and you'll see here that it was actually added so now when someone joins my server they could only chat and they could say hey give me better permissions and you're like no problem for me that's good because people only join my server when I'm online anyways maybe this doesn't work out for you so you might want to look into specific settings but we'll get more into that in future episodes alright so now you want to add an actual normal member okay so if you don't want the security precaution this is where you would start okay so let's see PEX and we're going to go to group and we're actually adding a new group here so we're gonna call the new group member so a normal member and then type in create so that creates the actual member group and you see here it adds it like that and now we want to add some permissions to it so if you wanted if you don't want the extra security precaution you would add this would be your your starter step and you would also want to make sure that default true is part of this group code okay so now at this point we're gonna go back here and type in PEX group for editing a group we're gonna type in member for the name of the group we're gonna add some permissions we're gonna add modify world dot star because I'm gonna let them modify the world in all sorts of different ways alright so that's gonna add that up there and that's pretty cool so I'm gonna get a little bit more into detail of certain things you could do before that should go but first I'm gonna show you the admin one so let's add a new group we're gonna to go to PEX group admin creates Oh, sorry. Notice there that it is cap sensitive. So I typed in the capital C there for create, and that caused a problem. So let's retype that in again. But create with a small c, and that adds the actual thing. Okay. So now I want to add some admin permissions. So we definitely want them to have modify world. There's two ways you can do it. You could rather just add it back, like I'm going to do here. But you could also do something called inheritance, and if you want to look a little bit more into that, uh, you can. Basically, inheritance will take any permissions that I already gave another group and give it to this one. So I can make it an oh, I can make it inherit this stuff, and then I could continue on from that point. So you're also going to want to give your admin this one here, this node, and that is going to be pex group admin add. And the node is permissions.star. You want to be able to give them all the permissions. And what this does is, is gives them the ability in game to edit all these permissions just the same way you would on your launch that bat. So now you have access to make any change you want right in the game for any new member. So there we go. That's pretty much your basic, basic setup. But before you go, you're going to need to know how to actually add a user to the groups that we have here. Otherwise, you won't be able to do much in game. So here's what you do. You could type in PEX user and then the username. So mag is X. Sorry, I'll move my mouse for you. And then we're going to add the user to a group. And then you set. And then the group name. So I would be admin. And there we go. Click on the side. And now you can see it added all this. So this is the code telling it I'm going to edit the users now. This is the user I'm going to edit. This is the group he's going to be in. Now at this point, if you wanted to actually add more specific user permissions, so let's say Magus X is part of admin, but I want to give him 
a few more permissions that other admins might not have. So you would actually go here and you could add, oh, you could actually add the permissions here too. So like so, except I think that's a small p. And then I could add nodes here just the same. So only Magus will have these specific ones. So that's pretty cool too. Um, what else do we have? I mean, I'm not going to get too much more into detail. Uh, one thing you really want to want to learn is modify world. I mean, there's lots of stuff in there for security settings, but we're not going to get into that today because I'm actually going to make actual videos specifically for security for your areas and your treasure boxes and all sorts of fun stuff. So if you, if you do have any security requests or other plugin requests that require permissions or just other plugins in general, be sure to leave a comment on the page and I'll see if I can get into that for you. Once you're all done editing everything that you want, don't forget to save your actual notepad and go to the launch app and you can type in PEX reload and that'll actually add it to your server. Alright, right on. So hopefully this was helpful for you guys. Give it a thumbs up if it was. If it wasn't, you could try commenting in the page. I'm going to leave a copy and a paste of this version here. And um, if you don't want to have the actual security precaution, like I said, all you would have to do is remove the middle group, uh, you know, change the name around, and get rid of this negative here. And then you could probably get rid of that too because you won't need it. You know, I, I, maybe I'll just throw a copy and paste for this, the uh, non-security precaution type too. So you could just use it for yourself or close friends for plugins or whatever. Alright, anyways, I'm going to stop blapping now. This has been Magus X, the Volatile Gamer. Please subscribe if you want to see more of this content, if you want to see other actual Let's Plays or Starter Guys for Tech It. Just, you never know what's going to come. So, hit the subscribe button, become a Magus X follower, and I would appreciate it so very much. Have yourself a great day, guys, and as always, have fun with Tech It. Peace out.